Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, with you, Let's give a round of applause for five time world champion for the nations in Costa Rica and at Cambridge. to apologize I've been traveling for the last I don't know day and a half or something um, I haven't slept but I am so honored to be here with all of you I'm sorry for the delay Marisa my respects to all of you it is uh, really a privilege to be here again in Detroit and hopefully we bring a war again that people will enjoy and uh, I'm honored to be here let me sit down and, and start this off. Any questions for Anna Gabriels? Oh, you want to speak? But if, I don't know. Are you ready? I'm just going yeah. down. Okay. So, we first met Hannah in 2018. She had a public workout at Downtown Boxing Gym in Detroit. And I'm a boxing guy. Watching her shadow box, I saw that she was the real deal. Her movement, she, as you can see, she's very gracious. Uh, so in the most respectful way, she's a beauty and the beast because she's beautiful, but inside the ring, she's a beast. And she showed it on, when she fought the Clarissa in 2018. And furthermore, being the light heavyweight and heavyweight champion of the world, so I'd like to invite Hannah to talk about the fight on June 3rd and what we can expect. Okay, okay. I'm sorry again, I wasn't informed on how, how that was going to go. And I want to apologize for my English in advance because it's, it's difficult sometimes to speak. Um, well, we were here, yes, in 2018. And I remember that fight it was a great fight. Um, I think it was a close fight, and I wasn't mad about Clarissa winning. I was mad about the cards, because I think I didn't deserve those cards. Even for the, your fights afterwards, I don't think the other girls gave you as much of a fight, and they actually gave, you know, got better cards. So I am here to redeem myself. Two years ago, you fought for the Undisputed in 154, and I was still the champion there, and you avoided me for whatever reason. I am here to take what is yours in 160, and that's about it. I am very honored. I am very proud of Clarissa. Clarissa has done so much, and she is actually the face, and she is actually the greatest. She has accomplished so much because it is not only about the ring, but she has handled pressure. She has handled, she has backed up her words. Um, at one moment she said, she'll beat my ass again. And I thought it was a strong word because I didn't feel like I got beaten. But um, we have the opportunity again. And uh, I'm honored, I'm privileged. In the last five years, I haven't fought a lot, but I have learned a lot. Um, today, I'm 40 years old, and I am honored. I have to say that today, for me, this fight is much more about heritage. Um, my father used to box, and just uh, recently, we were speaking about that, and. He was telling me some stories about my grandfather that was a street fighter. And my grand-grandfather was, um, he participated in the construction of the rails of the train in Costa Rica when there was slavery in Costa Rica. So um, it is about heritage today. I am so honored to carry so much uh, 
and to bring it to this fight and to uh, bring Costa Rica with me. Costa Rica is a small country, but it's a beautiful country. And I love my people and I know that they are happy that we are here fighting the best. And uh, hopefully, like I said before, we can give you the best fight and a better fight than the last one. I am honored to see so many great champions on this side. And uh, thank you for listening. And I don't know if anybody has a question, I'm here for you. Anna, I do have a question. You have a mic. Okay. Oh. Over here. Anna. Uh -huh. I do have a question. Oh. So off of, uh, you talked about your layoffs and things like that. Obviously you and Clarissa have fought once before. How, what do you think is going to be the difference for you coming off a little bit of a layoff going into this fight with you already having uh, your prior experience but off a layoff and to be fighting who's widely considered to be the quote, what do you think is going to be the difference for you come the third? Well, I would say this, in the first fight, well, I never had an amateur career. I only have one amateur fight. And so she probably is three times more experienced overall uh, than me. Um, I think that was ch what has changed is what was evident. My defense was really bad. I never got to learn that aspect of boxing. Um, before, I had an injury in my back and so I had a, a surgery and many of the things that people could do, I couldn't do. Um, so today, we have, we have work in the last years in the defense and uh, many other things. I can just say that what was evident that were my mistakes have been corrected. And you can expect my best version this time. Hannah from Latino Detroit, yo quiero decir bienvenidos y feliz cumpleaños. Y también yo quiero preguntar. You have said that you were not happy with the scorecards uh -huh. the last bout. Uh -huh. So why come to Detroit again? Are you are you afraid of the scorecards this time? No, I'm not afraid of anything. That's why I'm here. Um, like I said today, it's more about the opportunity because two years ago, we could, we could have fought at 154. I was the champion, I was WBA champion in 154. The care was the other champion and she could have fought the care and then fought me or fought me and uh, fought the care, but she didn't. So two years ago, I noticed that there was more potential in me that I knew about. Because if not, they would have fought me then. But they didn't. So two years have passed. And two years ago, when she fought for my title, with me being the champion there, there was something that was awakening me. And I have worked believing that that potential could could grow and I think I have done a good job and I'm very happy to be here. Sorry, I want to add to that. Sorry. I want to add to the point of judges and officials. Um, we, for all our televised fights in the city of Detroit, we bring in officials from outside of the state. We use some local, but many outside of the state, outside of the country to make sure that the right person in the ring wins. We want Detroit Boxing to have a good name. And while, Savannah, while you gave a great fight, we, we, don't, we don't feel that you won. And objectively, you didn't win. You're a great fighter, but you didn't win the fight. And, and I'm saying, and, the, and you should feel the way you feel, because you're a very talented Boxing fighter. Boxing is a sport of appreciation, and I'm not mad of, of your appreciation of it. Correct. No, so, so it no, is no. it is fine and the judges were fine like right. so, i respect the decision of the judges i'm just here to make it different good no so we just want to say that the right person is going to win on june 3rd i'm sure okay <laughs> hannah you talked about the mere fact that clarissa has improved as a fighter right here right oh here. yes you oh, talked about the mere fact that, that she's she has improved, improved? As, yeah. as a fighter of course. But you do recognize you're not fighting the same person you fought back then. Yeah. She's got more hardware to go along with that, and the boxing IQ sure. has improved. 
Talk about what you see and what she's done recently, opposed to what she did then. <laughs> Why should I talk about what you already know? <laughs> but I don't know if you know. You don't, okay. What I know is, do you wanna know what I know? Do you wanna know what I think? Because Clarissa has proof to everyone, everything. I don't, I don't need to recall what she's done. She has, grown, she has fought more than me. I haven't fought in the last two years because my promoter wasn't, wasn't able to get me to fight. So I'm in, in a little disadvantage because I've been away from the ring. What she has done is great, but it doesn't deter me or is not going to define what I'm going to do. I've done my job. I've done my work. Two or three, well, I've been doing my work for six years, but in the last two years, like I said, I discovered something that I didn't knew I have, and I focus on the things that matter, because she has the experience that I didn't have in the amateur career, and that uh, makes me, or used to make me make a lot of mistakes. You know, I used to make a lot of mistakes because of that inexperience. But I have focus, and I think in those two years I have catch up. Even though that she has been fighting, even though with all the things that she has accomplished, my boxing is much better. And I just wanna, ¿Cómo se dice medir? And I want to measure it with the best and see what is what the outcome is going to be. Uh, Miss Hannah, right here. Thank you. Uh, back in 2018, June, during the first round, mm -hmm. uh, can you give us a little memory as to how your mind... Um, <laughs> I was surprised. ...foresaw that that was the most memorable scare for uh, Clarissa. So dating back then and having a second time to go in there with her again. What do we look for? You know, you was able to bring her to the mat and you got a second time around. What do we look for? The funny story is that everybody's talking about knockout by, by myself. I was never talking about knockout. I've never been, oh, I knocked out Clarice and this and that. I've never been like that. This is, that's fine. I'm not intervening with her vision. Uh, of things and what she has been preparing for, I can assure you that that can happen either way. When I first fought her, I came to Detroit knowing that if I didn't knock her down, I wouldn't win. I came to Detroit knowing that I didn't have the experience that she had. I came to Detroit thinking that she, I, she was stronger than me. And I came to Detroit thinking that I, I, I wasn't as strong. And all of those things were wrong. So I'm, um, at this moment... You think you're stronger than me, Hannah Gabriels? Girl. You think you're stronger than me? That, that's a legit question. You think you're stronger than me? Let's go. Strength in boxing Let's don't go. matter, and I'm about to show you that. Let's go. Boom. Boxing does matter. Strength matters. Skill matters. Sure, Heart matters. Girl, sure. And I don't know what you thought about the first fight, but I'll tell you one thing. One thing I can tell you that I know for sure. You're not stronger than me. You're tough, but you're not stronger than me. And just to clarify something, why we didn't fight at 54, I was... WBA super champ. So whatever no, 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 no. whatever rules that they had from the super champion status to give you that belt. Yes. I cannot tell no organization what to do. I'm super champ at 160, and what happens at I receive. What happens when you are super champ is your belt I goes was, to whatever weight class you win. I was the WBA to. super so super my so my 160 belt came me to the that's how I regular for champion team. status because Clarissa and the care were going to fight for the undisputed 
because it was a historic event. And so I understood the big picture, but I was still the champion. So with I that said, you. I you like to interrupt you. people while they're speaking. I didn't avoid you, that's the point. You like to interrupt Yes, people? I do, but that's, but that's why you need to understand you were never avoided. Nobody avoids you. That organization did that. I just go and fight. That's it. They, they, they call me. This who you fighting? And I say, okay. Clarissa. That's it. Clarissa. You're speaking, you're speaking like if you don't have a whole team behind you, creating all of this guilt thing. Please do not act like all the people over here don't know how the business work. We are not stupid. And I was the super champion. And I made a statement the day before your fight, because if I didn't say nothing, then your narrative will be, you didn't say anything. So, nothing that had happened, that has happened matter right now. I am here, and I have had the worst flight of my life to, to come to your face and tell you I'm ready. I'm ready to give you what you say in Taylor and Serrano fight. Uh, in the interview you said that because you are too good, you could never have a fight, a war fight like Taylor and Serrano. Because your level of skills are so high, nobody can give you that. And I'm here to give you that. Respect. I'm glad you're and I only expect the reciprocity. I have so respect for you. It. I have respect, but for for one, for him to be how he is, and y'all to think that I avoided you, that's that's just not true. I'm 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 happy that me fighting for undisputed ignited a fire in you to where Girl, you felt like you fought for undisputed. You got undisputed in 154, and I was the champion. Facts are facts, and that narratives are narratives. And I, that's about it. Three-time undisputed champion is facts. Sure, Clarissa. It is. Sure. It's not sure. It's on the paperwork. Mm -hmm. like, and if we're talking about, I don't, I don't have to speak about my boxing belts. I already know what's up. I don't have to speak about that. But what I do know is, you've come here to Detroit, and you, and then you also said, because I wasn't gonna talk while you was talking, but you said that other girls got better scorecards. I'm gonna be honest with you. I beat everybody 90 to 100. Yeah, well, I'm And then Savannah Marshall, she won two rounds. Oh, but everybody has done the same. The scorecards are gonna be nine, 10 and nine because that's how they score. I'm, I mean to say, now with the score, score, scorecards, like the fight, my fight, our fight was better than all of those fights. All of those fights. But I still want to majority And this the fight is gonna be better than all of those fights. And I'm taking your belts I don't think because so. you took mine in 54 and you avoided me. And I'm okay. about to show you that was a big mistake. Yes. That's about it. Let's go. I'm glad she feel that way. Give it up for her. Hurry up. Go. Give it up because she deserved that. That's why we made the fight happen. She's the next best. I wanted Savannah Marshall to come over here. But we got Hannah Gabriels, who's a dog, who I think that a lot of the girls are have avoided in this boxing but Clarissa Shields has not avoided her ever and I can understand the hate of me being undisputed at 54 I get it people gonna hate they're gonna be mad but me being as great as I am is not a narrative it's facts that's all it's facts June, 20, June 3rd right here from Little Caesars Arena the undisputed middleweight world title live on the zone these ladies are gonna face off now, and we'll see you next week.